hand in the water. Okay. What? She's putting her hand in the water. Is it cold? She shouldn't put her hand in the water. We're going to be there soon. Can you relax, please? It feels nice. You should try it. It would be too cold for me. Anton says I'm made of ice. Jesus, take your hand out of the water. What is it, anyway, the thing we're seeing? It's by Klaus Makachevas, some kind of performance or performance installation. How are you spelling that? Installation. No. M-A-K-H-A-C-H-E-E-V-A. H-E-V-A. Only one E. What? Only one E. You know the word? Well, I saw a video she did last year. Typewrote from Giardini. It has a typewriter board in all these works of art. What? Uh, it's coming in paintings over a ravine or something on a typewriter in the mountains. Same person, right? Don't ask me. He takes them from one side to another, just balancing across. It's pretty great. How about you? Eh, yeah, what? The video. The video she did. You saw it? No, not that one. I think I read something. But this one is more with the type of walker? No. Uh, for this, she did interviews with these sturgeon fishermen on the Caspian Sea. Sturgeon fishermen? Mostly illegal. Some of them legal or all illegal? I don't know. She talked to fishermen in Dagestan. Uh, it's just a way of life for them, you know? They're looking for caviar, or a lot of them are. And it could be big money, but really dangerous work. It's not regulated, not like health and safety. <laughs> safety. It's a lot of untracked boats in the Caspian Sea, small boats. Under the radar, I guess, opposed to the kind of visibility that shipping has in other parts of the world. What's he say? He says, take your hand out of the water. <laughs> he says, we're nearly there. Okay, so M-A-K-H-A-C-H-E-V-A. Is that right? H-E-V-A. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Believe me, it matters. It does, and they matter. Because you're good at remembering it. I'll be quiet again. Makacheva is from Uzbekistan, right? No, Dagestan. One of the Sam. Dagestan. She interviewed these fishermen concerning their lives and love and their hopes and the money and stuff. What they think about when they're out at sea. And then they make this work, the performance, and it's right out there in the middle of all this nothing. There's a capsized boat. Uh, they use it as a kind of stage. So there are going to be people in the water. It's not really clear. I wouldn't go in the water. I think it's polluted. No one's asking. What? No one's asking you to go in the water. Does this guy know where it is? Does he know where we're going? I don't know. What? I don't know. He's heard in the thing, right? The catalog. He knows where it is, the performance. He seems to. We'll be okay. I read the catalog. You always do the research. You're the good student. I'm the conscientious student. I don't believe that for a minute. Okay, fine. I did the research. She interviewed these fishermen. There's this thing sometimes where the boat capsizes and they end up in the water. Where? Here. No. In the Caspian Sea. These are like pirates, these guys. Proper fishermen. They're tough as nails, quiet, skin like leather. If the boat capsizes, they can be in the water a long time, nine days, hoping to get rescued. What do you mean there? It's about the sea. It's one older guy and a younger one. They end up in the water, the capsized boat in a storm. The younger one is losing it, and the older one is holding him above the water, holding him and hanging on. He says he can feel his stomach shrinking. Wait, this is in the performance? No, it's in the interview I read. We're going to see this, though, a reenactment. I don't know. Maybe they use it in the performance as, as dialogue. I love this piece. You can definitely die in it. Just look at it. That's the thing. It's a killer. The boat is too fast, right? Isn't this too fast? It's okay. I hate this boat. I swear, I'm getting seasick. It's Real fine. Black. Uh, okay. Every time the kid falls asleep, like, the other guy has to slap him in the face. But why? To keep him awake, so he doesn't slip under. To keep him alive. Sometimes I get that at an opening dinner, or you know, at a drinks reception, anything to do with embassies or sponsors. I have to ask Claire to slap me right in the face to make sure I don't slip under. We actually have a signal. When I give the signal, she's like, what? What's the signal? Yeah, you're encouraging her. <laughs> you're not taking this seriously. Uh, you could have taken the Airbnb if all you were going to do is pay. Apologies, it's just I'm up all night thinking about the answer for the name. Oh, idiot, be serious. Let's have some gravity. We're not there yet. I will be serious when we get there. I 
Siamo quasi arrivati. He says we are going to be getting there pretty soon now, smart ass. So start to chain up the tone of me, okay? I'm putting on my heart face just for you. Resting heart face. <laughs> Wait, is that it? Bad. What? I don't see anything. Look, bad. Is that the boat thing? I can see on this side? The capsized boat? No. This is the coordinates, more or less. I can see it on my phone. Tell him to get closer somehow. I'll ask him. Okay. Ci possiamo avvicinare? Sì. It's scary, though. What? The sea. I think the performance he's made for here enacts this incident he was told about. What incident? Nine days in the water. Are you keeping up here? We need smart people on the board. Come on, come on, keep up. Leave her alone. She's filming for the YouTube. Well, that takes energy. Concentration, look at her expression. Be quiet, you've been told. Look, this is the location, that's the boat. Questo il posto e quella la barca. What's he say? He says, this is the location and that is the boat. Yeah, he's repeating it. Remind me what we're looking for. These fishermen. Illegal fishermen. Not just fishermen, sturgeon fishermen, if we have to be precise. They use cheap boats called Baida. One guy alone, maybe two together, three sometimes for a long trip out. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to skim up close to Kazakhstan because that's where most of the sturgeon is these days. They have to go out, far out, and where they go, the waters are really unpredictable. Rough water, devastating night storms. When the engine stops in a storm, the boat flips, so the nose of the boat rises up. They're stuck, and the boat goes over, and they're out there in the water, and then they use rope to tie themselves to the boat. How come? What? How come do they, like, why do they do that? How come they tie themselves? You like to be tight. No. To a bed, baby, not be to a serious boat. for just a minute. Okay, okay. They tie themselves to stay afloat in hope to get rescued, I guess. Yes, and for another reason. Uh, to put their family's minds at rest. To have a chance for a funeral. They want their death to be certain if that's what it is. And that's the book. Yes. Are you sure this is the actual place? I see the boat, but is that the right boat? That could be any boat. E questa è la barca di città? Sì. Yes. Totally sure. Questa è la posizione che è la barca? Sì, sì. Yes. It's a hopo. It shouldn't be here. Is it an omen? A sign of something bad? Bad luck to the art tribe? No, it's just a bird. They live here. It's native. But look, there's a boat. No performers. Well, what are you guys saying? It's a capsized boat for sure, but if there were some fishermen clinging to it as a sign of our contemporary precarity, we would have seen them by now, believe me. Yes, but maybe the performance starts again in a bit? Oh, you think maybe we arrived just in time for the intermission? They're waiting in a dressing room backstage under the water. No. We have to slow down for the art. Can't do it at speed. Ralenta, per favore. Is it a real boat? Yeah, that one's probably styrene. Definitely CGI. It's real. Uh, doesn't look like I thought it would look like somehow. Less like a boat, more like a dead fish. Not like a boat with the prow sticking up. I mean, do you both reckon this is it? Is this what we've been looking for? For sure. But no performance, no performance at all. I mean, apart from that ridiculous bird.
It's 6 p.m. now. There's a film screening in the Yugoslav Pavilion. If we head back now, we can easily make it. What time are the drinks? Seven. There is no Yugoslav Pavilion. It's Serbian. I don't care if there's no Yugoslav Pavilion. I didn't eat a thing. Not anything. Nothing at all. I'm starving. I'm out on the open water. I'm officially miles from anywhere. I need to eat before I see any more art. We didn't see any art at all. Only water. I'm totally starving. Well, eat. Eat. Like, go eat. I'd like to. Is that something moving by the boat? Just down beside it, in the water. No. What would it even look like to performance out here? The performance would be in the water, or they'd all be swinging in the boat? I guess so. Nah, there's nothing there. Do you think it's anchored? No idea. I mean, it must be, right? Otherwise, it would drift. The Coast Guard would find it and think someone drowned. <laughs> so the whole project got confused back into real life. Missing actors, search parties. What about the performers, though? What? What about them? Performers in this piece we haven't seen, seriously. They're, like, supposed to be out here all day holding on to that thing for dear life. Roped together, roped to the overturned boat. How much do you think they get paid? The performers would be, like, assistants, interns. They'd be doing it for experience, for profile. I mean, you know how it goes. Exposure. Literally. Bring your own wetsuit. No, stop it. She brought actual fishermen from the village where the, you know, where the sturgeon and fisher guys all hang out. There was an interview with her somewhere. She said she wanted the real guys to be here, the real fishermen, so it wasn't a masquerade or spectacle. Well, even if she did bring real ones, it would still be a spectacle. Holy. Looks like she wasn't paid enough anyhow. The performers never showed up. I'm turning my art face off again. I swear, I was almost completely serious for about four minutes there. It's a world record. A Biennale record. Do I get a certificate signed by the curators? No. Just think that somewhere behind us on the open seas is that work. Or it will be there later after the dinner break. Two fisher guys from Dagestan on the worst gig of their lives. The best day. I doubt it. Oh, you two stop it. I have asked you. Take us home. Or take us to a good hotel or to a nice piazza. Aperitivo is calling. Art is calling. That's the destination after we've had some food. Don't put your hand in the water. Just leave her alone. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's cold. It's the water. They wouldn't last long in a storm. Here? What storm? Thinking about the fisher guys. It could be completely calm, but then suddenly wind brings darkness and it's approaching. The waves begin breaking. I mean, who works the sea by choice? You know what I mean? Not like that in any case. It's fucking desperate. I thought you were done with being serious after that four minutes. But listen to me. We are going to find a really nice place to sit down. You are going to eat something. I'm going to drink something and then drink something more. And we are going to forget about all of this and you are going to cheer up, OK? Do you think this work was even there somewhere? The performance, I mean. Does it ever happen? What? You think it might be a trick thing? A deliberate rumor? A prank? Does it matter? Sure it matters. It makes a difference. You want real fishermen in real water? Yes. Yeah. Not conceptual fishermen in conceptual water. No. You want breathing and clinging on in the action of treading water. What's that? Where you pump your legs just to stay afloat, working hard just to stay where you are, above the water. To stay alive. Yes, you want that. I you don't want all mind. of that. I don't really need it. I don't put your hand in the water. It's fine, really, totally fine. What what if that was the road that we saw back there? And the performers were there, but like, they got tired, lost track somehow, slipped under the water, lost it. One of the fishermen that McCaffrey interviewed said that when a person goes to sea, mentally, they should be ready to die. The good student has been doing his research again. How would Venice even allow something like that? I mean, they have such systems, such a lot of control and regulations. I was part of a shoot under the water once. Believe me, it was a production nightmare. Water, unpredictable weather. I never knew you were a sailor. The last time I'm telling you. Ci puoi riportare indietro subito? Se andiamo piano, io finisco per notare che siete due idioti fuori dalla barca. Dove vi porto? Si può riportare in campo Santa Margarita il più vicino possibile. Nessun problema. What else did you read? What else does the catalog say? Uh, wait. Read to us. Help pass the time. Wait. Okay. Uh, yes. There's this. 
Um, we had two stormy weeks. Sorry, is that the artist? No, from the interview. We had two stormy weeks on the boat, and even when it was my turn to rest, I did not sleep. I could not sleep on my own. How could I sleep if my son was with me? How could I sleep or not sleep? Okay, we did shared duties as usual, three hours each. But if you closed your eyes, 15 minutes would already be half an hour. Time played tricks on you. You got this feeling, or the absence of a feeling. You didn't feel the waves. The waves became smaller and smaller, and you felt so drowsy, as if you had taken a morphine shot, as if you were falling into a dark hole, 